Here we're going to make a custom image using multiple merge tags, which I'll be able to pass in from my email service provider. Um, instead of dragging an image in, I'm actually going to create a custom canvas with the height of 425. And I'm going to select the background color that I wish to use by just pasting in the hex color. And I'll create image to load the canvas. Now I'll start by adding a merge tag. I'll select one that I've previously saved in this account. And once again, with this box, right, I can tilt this, position it however I'd like. You can also add text before the variable. So in this case, I'll say thanks for signing up with an exclamation mark and a default in case no name comes through. Under font options, go and select the font I like, as well as modify the font size. And then once you're done, you can see that you've created this new layer for just that merge tag that you've added. I'm now going to take advantage of some of the design options that we have. So we like to add te uh, static text, images, or shapes. So in this case, I'm going to add some text, save up to, choose the fonts as well as the font size for this image. I'll even make this bold. But once again, now you can see we've created a second layer. So you have multiple layers here, and within these, you can click on them to rename the layer. You can modify the transparency of these. You can lock or unlock, as well as just hide them. And some quick ones here for copying and, of course, deleting. I'm also going to go back up to add elements and add a static um, image here. So I can actually drag an image in from my desktop. So here I have one with this yellow uh, paint mark here. Um, and it's transparent besides that paint mark. But once again, you can see how to create its own layer. Um, I can use my keyboard to reposition other layers by just using the arrow keys. And now I have a third layer here. Finally, I'll add another dynamic element, um, a merge tag that's going to be unique for each person. So I can position this. I have a fallback of 15%. And of course, right, I can come in and modify size, color, everything I need for this particular layer. So when that's done, once again, remember that you have different layers here. So you can create overlapping effects. Um, if I go to preview, I can see how this is going to look. So different names, different percentages, maybe based off um, past sales or history with you. And after saving this, you'll see that both the discount and name merge tags are already inside the image URL we give you. So you can simply copy and paste this into the HTML of your email template and use it right away. Please reach out if you have any questions. Thank you.